Hi, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to play the Beatles song Rocky Raccoon taken from the White Album. The introduction starts off with an A minor 7 chord, as such, the chord box has been on the screen. We start off with our thumb hitting the bottom A string, and then we're going to strum. So we're going to go, and again, and again. Again. So our introduction should sound like this. And our chord progression for the song is it repeat, just repeats round and round in a circle. We've got verse one, two, three. There's a piano break, but the chord progression is quite the same. The song itself can sound as if um, because of the way Paul McCartney sings, especially the first verse. We might be tricked into thinking that the chord progression is a little bit all over this place, but it's not. It's the same thing. And really what we're doing is we're going from an A minor 7 chord to a D7 suspended 4, which might sound complicated. But if we take our middle finger off, we'll have our D7 suspended 4 chord. We then move to D7. Kind of technically, I suppose we're playing this wrong, but if we just take our little finger down a fret, We'll have a D7, we're then going to move to a G7, to a C chord. Seeing this written out where we leave our little finger on the 3rd fret of the high E string. Like that. We then move our middle finger along to the B note on the A string, 2nd fret of the A, and, slight, and muting the D string. So our chord progression should sound like like that. And we're going to play it like this. We're going to stick with our uh, original intro way of strumming. Sorry, do that again. Then going to take our middle finger off, hit that D string, go to our D7, hit the D string, go to that G7, hit the G note on the third fret of bottom A, and again, open to our C, we might have put our little finger on the third fret of high E. Hit the C note on the 3rd fret of bottom A. Move into a C slash B. Put our middle finger on the 2nd fret of the A. Muting the D string. Like that. And that's going to go around repeatedly. So it's going to sound like this. So as always, thank you for watching. It's a quick lesson, but I hope it helps you be able to play Rocky Raccoon by the Beatles.